see Genty, and we're back at it again. We're poolside this time. We're hanging out with some young adults who were on their last day, their swim class, and it is so important in Haiti uh, and on the islands in general to know how to swim. The drowning numbers are too high to count. Everyone has an anecdote of someone, a cousin, a friend who's drowned. Learning, seeing what it takes to get young kids engaged and in the water. And these kids have something really special in store for them. Haitian Olympian Naomi Grandpierre is going to be the one handing them their certificates. Naomi competed in the 2016 Summer Olympics and has become a role model for swimming in Haiti. Born in Canada, raised in America, but never lost her deep, deep, deep passion and appreciation for Haiti and all things Haitian. She's been diversifying the sport. She's been working with the Haitian National Swim Team and the Haitian National Swimming Federation to allow Haitians in Haiti and the diaspora to have more access to the sport. But she's not out competing and just dominating in the water. She's, you can find her in Haiti at events just like this, working with youth, working with the next generation, not only to empower them in the water, but to inspire and help them get to that next level and one day have Haiti itself be a genuine competitor in the water. We got invited out to meet her, to chat with her, to see what she's doing, and we took full advantage of it, filming this entire event, and then also get a few minutes with her one-on-one -on -one to chat about what is going on with Miss Naomi Gompier and what is next. Y'all just saw this awesome B-roll and the kids having an awesome time, really just enjoying. I wish, listen, I brought the wrong set of clothes. <laughs> I should have been dressed up in the water as well, but <laughs> I didn't get the memo, it's all good. I have Naomi Grandpierre right here, right next to me. Thank you, my dear, for making the time to chat of and hang out, yeah. right? Actually, we're gonna ask her a few questions and then we're gonna let her, we're gonna, I'm gonna personally dive her, <laughs> throw her in the water. <laughs> we'll, we won't take up too much of her time. So Naomi, yeah. tell me, tell us, are you in Haiti all the time? Is, is, this, is this a rare occurrence? Is no, it is not a rare occurrence. Actually, the older I've gotten, the more times I've come, come into Haiti. And this is actually my third time I've been in Haiti this yeah. year. So this? I try and come as often as I can. It's been a lot of times for work. Yeah. So I'm trying to mix it up with work and family time. So I'm here for family. Okay. And okay. It's my one day of work. Nice, nice, nice. <laughs> yes. Now, I know. Well, wait a minute. She builds. You were just recently That's at true. this. That's true. So yeah. I had two days of two work, days of this, work. Time, this time. So I'm here for 12 days. Okay. So two days of work, 10 days of okay. family. So, and the other day of work yes. is that you are here with yes. these kids. What's going on here? So this is a club team that I come to often. Okay. And it's um, basically what they did is they did a summer camp, yeah. a summer program. So it's actually football um, athletes that have come to learn how to swim. Okay. And it's important because not a lot of swimmers know how to swim. So of course, me being on the Haitian swim team, I make it a point to come over here yeah. and encourage the kids, yeah, yeah. teach them a few of my technique. I'm actually here with my brother. So we came together and I don't know, it's been great. It's yeah, been yeah, fun. Yeah. It's always very lively and fun. Yeah. So Yeah, the energy and the kids just really love it. They appreciate you being here. Yes. So now you're on see Genty, you know, the channel, right? The vlog, you know, YouTube <laughs> thing. I believe you're doing your yes. own sort of... So I just started vlogging and it's called The Undercurrent. You can go and subscribe. I'm having a little technical issues. I'm still like learning <laughs> this whole vlogging thing. It's actually a whole ordeal, it but is. it's a lot of fun. I have great content coming out. So just be a little patient with me. But while you're waiting, you can go subscribe on The Undercurrent. <laughs> <laughs> I can't wait. I'm gonna I'm I'm subscribe. Good. Right? I'm gonna subscribe and I'm, make sure it's you all part of the same. strategy. I'm keeping yeah. you guys waiting, you know? Good stuff is on the way. <laughs> awesome, I can't wait. 
Now, when it comes to swimming, yes. undercurrent, you know, swimming. Yeah. So what what's next? What do you have? Uh, you're still competing. I'm still competing. All right, right. So I'm actually recovering from a shoulder injury. Mm. This baby was very mm. shoulder mm -hmm. or very shouldered, very <laughs> injured. Yeah. But I'm all recovered now, and I've been training for like four months now. Yeah. So I just came back from Korea, yeah, actually. Yeah. So World Championships was in South Korea. Okay. So that was really cool. Nice. I did pretty well. Nice. I won my heat, so got the Haitian flag come up. So that was really cool. Also, video is coming up on my whole experience. Nice. in South Korea and we have um, two competitions in 2020 and then of course the Olympic Games yeah, yeah, yeah. so a very packed year for 2020 so definitely stay tuned and keep track with um, the Haitian swim team nice nice and, and, and the last thing I'm gonna ask is you know everywhere you go you're always repping Haiti right you know with just yeah, your whole IG is just, just Haiti, <laughs> Haiti, Haiti, Haiti Haiti all the time absolutely. so what, what drives that I'd love to know what you know <sighs> that's what really, a loaded yeah. question how am I gonna answer it today uh -huh. <laughs> let me think about <laughs> It. Um, it's so deep and complex. Uh, it's like, it's very, it's emotional. Yeah. It's emotional. Yeah. It's emotional. So half of it is like anger. Yeah. Because it, it really makes me upset the just how people treat yeah, Haiti treat, yeah. and the ignorance yeah. surrounding my country yeah. and how like significant our history is. Yeah. So there's that. I'm not yeah. even going to dive into that. Yeah. But then there's also love and pride. Yeah. So I think it's like the anger and the love come together yeah, yeah. because because people are so ignorant, it makes me love my country even more yeah, and yeah. want to be even louder with yeah, it. So yeah, it's yeah. like, Haiti's in the house! <laughs> Haiti's in the house! <laughs> so like, I don't know. Yeah, yeah. Those are like the two main factors, but yeah, yeah. I can go on forever. I'm just going to stop right, right there. <laughs> Listen, I, I, we appreciate your passion. Your passion, you know, there's only one person in Haiti that outdoes your passion, that's me. <laughs> Just so you know. I'm gonna hold you to that. I don't and think that's true. No, no, no. That's that's the fact. My commenters will will, will, will test. Okay. And so I certainly hope that you know we can do some more stuff together while you're in the country. Yes. You absolutely. know I, I appreciate you allowing us to come and check out this yeah. event. And we're definitely gonna do some more because you know I like to take you to one of our restaurant episodes and you're gonna sure. Let's <laughs> be do out. It. Let's and do we're it. together. We're so you'll be seeing more of me, the undercurrent right. with Naomi GP. You can yeah. also follow me on Instagram. Yeah. Thank you for having me on Naomi, your platform. Thank you. <laughs> Until we're back at it again, we'll be back at it again. <laughs> See, JT? <laughs> we're back at it again. For a unique two part episode. Because after I met Naomi, it got me thinking how often is it that we can find swimming programs in the country? So I, I, I put my, reached out to my network. I said, hey, find me maybe some of the best swim instructors we have in the country. And my, my folks delivered. We found Shumi du Notation. And we're chilling right now in their pool. <laughs> hold, hold on, kids. Hold on, hold on. Hold on, hold on. <laughs> They're right there. And, and we're going to learn a little bit about what it takes and, and what it means to run swimming in the country. Because it is absolutely important that you know the percentage of folks who can swim in any black community but it's particularly in Haiti given that it's oh no it's, it's in the Caribbean you know uh, you're gonna learn a little about a, a bit a little bit about that from the folks here at Shumi du Notation Purchase your tracks today. So we're out here in front of this beautiful pool, and I have these two very beautiful instructors in front of me. Shumi du Notation. We're centrally located, by the way, here in Off Food Fouet, Pichonville, where they offer swimming to a, a diverse group of folks. And Messi, thank you for allowing me to come out here. Smith Etienne mm -hmm. and Stephanie. La Grenade. La Grenade. La Grenade. La Grenade. <laughs> Gotta put the accent on there. Our instructors. We are two sisters. Two, two sisters. sisters. Sister, yes. sister. You can see it. Mm -hmm. Right? And they've been at this for a while. So I'm just going to hop in and just ask them. So, how long have you guys been doing this program? Uh, it's very simple. At Shumi Du Natation, we teach adults and kids how to swim. Boom. So, kids and adults how to, to swim. swim. All right. Okay. So, I mean, all together. And like since you've been in existence, yes. how many students have you taught? Since 2004, 
Uh, over 600. Wow. 600. 600. Yes. <laughs> so, so why? Why are you? Why is it so important to teach? Because we live on an island. It is necessary that everyone knows to swim. Okay, okay, makes sense. You live on an island, you gotta know how to swim. <laughs> Duh, that's what that always blows my mind. Like, yeah, and the vast majority of Asians, the adults to, to youth, don't know the importance of swimming, right? And that's, and that's great that we're teaching them that. So, something so important, how much does it charge? Is it, is it affordable? It depends, okay. it depends. For example, someone need needs one hour yeah. per lesson yeah. uh, versus two hours per yeah. lesson. Yeah. Uh, it's, 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 it will get different price. Okay, okay, so it depends on the amount of time per yes. session. Makes yes. sense, makes sense. It all uh, depends on what the person yeah. uh, can, can afford. Can afford, okay. Yeah, yeah definitely, makes sense. Mm -hmm. So, now where are you guys located? I, I know right now we're on uh, Pitchonville with Fue, but mm -hmm. generally where are you guys, where can we find people? Uh, so, uh, we teach at different schools. Okay, different schools. Yes, during the summer, we also do private lessons. lessons. Okay, mm -hmm. awesome, awesome. Well, so listen, how do, how do they find you? Uh, by, by WhatsApp, WhatsApp okay. easy. email, okay. phone. Okay. Uh, by WhatsApp, we, we have my, my phone number is 373 1494. Okay, one more time. Three seven three two one four nine four. Shimidu notation. Yes. Check them out. Uh -huh. Listen, I'm about we to get back in this water. We have WhatsApp too. Okay. She has a WhatsApp also. Okay. Three so seven zero one six four two zero. Okay. All on the bottom. <laughs> All right, guys. Yes. <laughs> thank, thank you. you. Thank, thank you. you. Check that now, we're going Pierre. Remember, the undercurrent is her YouTube channel. Check her out. And show me the notation. The information was shared. It's gonna be below in the description. And guys, until we're back at it again, listen, we'll be back at it again.